Do you live up to your zodiac signs ex- Whoa. Do you live up to your zodiac signs expectations? Were you born in the right astrology sign? Take the zodiac sign personality test and find out which. Okay, whatever. That's too much reading. This is Test Me Tuesday, so we're going to get right started. I get a lot of people mixing up my sign, so I really want to see if I get my exact sign. And you guys are probably wondering what sign. Because I am a Scorpio, specifically in October. Whoa, there is 50 questions, 20 minutes. This is going to take a while. I may get a point to try a new restaurant dish or hang out. Okay, well, of course they're gonna start with social skills and I am a Scorpio, so I am very, in, I am very in, an introvert. I am a very strong introvert. I am a good at coming up with creative solutions to problems. Yes, I, I think I, I, do, I do that pretty well. I'm the type of person who thinks outside the box. Sometimes, but yeah, yeah. I use everyday objects in creative, practical ways to get, wait, in creative, practical ways, a clean, oh, no, no, no. I express myself creatively. I would say, yeah, I would, I'm very, you know, outspoken when I'm comfortable. That's, this is when I'm comfortable. I am, I'm, I am moved to tears by sad movies. No, no. I mean, sometimes, but not rarely. The movie has to be really, 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 really sad. When socializing, I try to avoid topics that could be upsetting to someone in the group. Um, sometimes, but if we're roasting each other, then I really don't care. Okay, this is gonna, oh, that kind of went by fast. Okay. I am constantly setting goals for myself. Yes, oh, well, sometimes, yes. I would hate to be... I know it's bad to put, I'm going to try to just go one or three because sometimes the test can get messed up if you just keep doing neutral. So I'm going to try to be as, so I'm going to say yes, because most of the time I do. I would hate to be called average. Oh yeah. Just kind of, I really don't care what people got to say, but if people call me average, then I, I know I'm not average. So, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't hate to be called average. If someone's okay, let me see. Let me think of a, a scenario. If someone came up to me and said, "You're average," I would probably look at them dumb. Like, what? I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't. I don't think so. It takes some type for. It takes some time for me to trust people. <laughs> yes, that is. That is that is really good because some people are just. So y'all gotta watch out for your friends. Be careful out there. Some people don't have the greatest intentions for you. I tend to change my mind as often as I change my clothes. Yes. Well, I'm... Okay, let me just put yes. Because it's... I mean... Yeah, I do. I will willingly... I am willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. Okay, yes, the first couple of times I will. But after that, no. I'm eager to start a project, but... I often lack the motivation to finish it. No. If, I, if I'm setting a goal for something, I got to do it. I got to do it right then and there. When a new gadget or invention comes out the market, I'm usually the... No. I do not care. What? Sorry, iPhone 16? I, I'm still out of 12. It's okay. Yes, I am very emotional. You know, I, I take backs of those who are, you know, struggling in the moment. I feel that. I'm willing to try any, I am willing to try anything once. Ooh, it depends. It it has to be something I really want to try, like skydiving or something like that. That's the only thing. Other than that, I don't need to try it because I already know I'm not going to like it. What's the point? Like clay in a sculptor's, in a sculptor's hand, I can easily mold myself to adapt to, yes. That's the one thing I do realize in situations. Let's say we're at a party. I know how to adapt to like which type of party we're going to. Like, I'm not going to go in there with wild energy if we're going to a library party, you know, like I'm just not going to do it. Or I'm going to be if we're going to a wild party, I'm going to be wild and not come with the library. Y'all know what I'm trying to say? It just depends on the it depends on the environment.
Once one goal is accomplished, I I fiercely tackle another. Um, sometimes like those ones, I mean, like yeah, I mean, I guess if I am counting on you and you mess up. It will be a while before I can place my faith in yes. Well, it's not going to take a... Okay, wait, hold on. If I'm counting on you to, like, put gas in my car. Hmm, I don't mean... I mean, I really don't put tr trust in people except my family. So, like, I don't know. But if you don't, then I think, yeah, it's going to take me a while. Because, like, now you just went down, like, 100 points for me. You got... You, got, you have to... You have to really take out the question and put it into your real scenario lives. That's why I'm answering these questions so we can get an accurate rating. I'm more comfortable with predictable and routine than uh, constantly, yes. I like routines. I like keeping things in order. I am de I am determined to achieve success, yes. I think we're all determined to achieve success. I keep my surroundings tidy and organized, yes, for the most part. I am known for my dependability. I mean, eh, no one's really depending on me, but if my mom tells me to do the dishes, I'm going to do the dishes. I'm going to take out trash. Uh, I mean, so yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm a curious person. Yes, I am very curious what's going on. Whether it's a work at home when... Whether it's a, at work or a, at home, when something needs to be done, I'm the one who takes the initiative. Hell no i mean if you tell me but okay i'm gonna put sometimes because if it's something that you need to do and i'm not a part of it then i'm not gonna take the initiative if that's if you know like but if it's something that people like i don't know doesn't want to i don't know it depends on the situation when someone does something nice for me out of the blue i get suspicious about his or her motives Hmm. Um, no, I don't think so. Once I make up my mind, don't waste your pre pre precious energy trying to change it. Once I make up my mind, don't waste your... Uh. Well, my mind does change a lot. So, I mean, sometimes it depends on the situation again. I'm trying to think of a situation where what they're trying to say. Like, I'm not going to the movies. So you pressure me to go into the movies. But I don't want to go to the movies, so no, I'm not going to go to the movies. It depends. I'm, le I'm, leaving the I'm leaving it in neutral. I would rather set low expectations for myself so that I won't end up disappointed. Um, no, then you're only going to reach minimal, minimal success. Why not expect yourself to be better and better and better until you reach it? I have knack. I have knack for tasks that require attention to detail. What does knack mean? An inquired or natural skill at performing a task, a tendency to do something. I have a knack for tasks that require attention to detail. Um, I keep my thoughts and feelings to myself until I'm ready to get no. <clears throat> I keep my thoughts and feelings to myself until I really get to know. Yes, definitely. That one is definitely me. Hence why I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> anyway. I would feel restless if I didn't consistently have a goal to work toward. I feel like yes, because I do get bored. And if I and I and if I, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and if I don't feel like I'm doing something, then I get like bored. I am willing to hear people out even if I think they were they were saying what they're saying is over the top. Yes, I am willing to hear just so I can shut it down. I have no problem putting in extra hours if that's what it takes to get the task done. Yes. Ideas for inventions or new concepts consistently float through my mind. Yes. I am really good at reading people. Yes. Reading the room, reading people's emotions, reading people's body language. I am a really, really observant. Once my mind is set on a goal, no obstacles can denture me. Well, it depends on the obstacle. But, but sometimes, depends on the obstacle. What is this, your motive? Just go for it, never give up. Change is the key to success. I meant to survival. Um, none of these really 
Okay, what, what would I say if, the, if I had to choose? Change is the key to survival. Never give up. Just go for it. Hmm. It's like one of those questions where none of, no, it's nothing's wrong, but something is always right to pick. It's one of those questions where teacher says, oh, there's no wrong answer, but there's always a wrong answer. <laughs> um, I'm going to put change is the key to survival. Because without change, people will just be stuck in their ways. When it comes to opportunity in life, you don't want, you don't wait for them to come to you. You make things happen. That's a good one. You don't actively seek them out, but you will. Okay, that's too that's too wordy. That's too wordy for me. That's too wordy. You that one the first one was simple and sweet. You will take advantage of them, but you tend to jump from one opportunity to another, rarely putting in the energy to focus on. Okay. Okay, no, no. I feel like the first one was good. When tackling a group project, oh. <laughs> oh my God, I hated group projects. Oh my Jesus. When tackling a group project at school or work, you're the one who mostly deals with the last minute. No. Keeping things running smoothly and help the team. No. Okay, wait, hold on. Takes charge and strongly voicing your opinion about the, the direction in which the group, no. Deals with the last minute problems, changes or upgrades. I'm the one who just give me, give me, we're talking, right? We talk. So let's say we're doing a toy car. If someone says, okay, Justin, do you have the wheels? Can you go get the wheels and paint them? Then, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to worry about anybody else because I already have my job. Y'all gave me the wheels and to paint them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the, do the wheels. And I'm going to paint them. I'm not going to worry about nobody else because y'all already gave me a job. So I feel like this one will be the best description. Keeps things running smoothly and helps the team stay grounded because I'm doing my part. So we're staying grounded, if that makes sense. I think that's a good one. We're almost there. When nothing is going right and people are stressing you out, get a bit impatient and short tempered. No, I'm actually very, very patient. Carefully analyze your situation, identify what's bugging you, and you find a solution to make things better. Retreat, take a breather, and do your best to ride out the wave of emotions. Don't even blink an eye or break a sweat when times are rough and you get tougher. Mmm. Okay. When you're getting where you're going, okay. When people are stressing you out. Jesus. <laughs> it's either between carefully analyze your situation or retreat and take a breather. It's either those two. It depends on, of course, the situation. But most of the time, I think it's, ooh, I think it's carefully analyzed. If it's something like that's really just, they're purposely making me mad, I'm gonna just retreat because obviously you want a reaction to my frustration. So I feel like it's that one. For the most part, for just bugging like work or stress or school, I feel like it's that. To you, socializing is unnecessarily evil. You prefer peace and quiet or the company of good friends. Yes, good, good in small doses. Yeah, mm, you love being around people, but you need to hide away sometimes. OK, that's a good one. What you were born to do. You will love hearing other people's ideas, but you can also be pretty talkative yourself. Great fun, and you're and you're usually the one who leads the conversation, voices your opinion, and honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my dilemma with this question, because like I said, I'm a Scorpio, but when I'm I'm comfortable in my introverted mode, I would say these two: good and small doses, and unnecessarily evil. <laughs> I would put that for my, but for when I get comfortable and around people I like, that's when. I would pick like this one. You love hearing people other ideas and you like, and I'm very, really talkative when I'm comfortable. So it's like an in-between. I feel like, okay, let's just do this one, right? Good in dose, good in small doses, but it depends on whose dose it is. You know, if it's really talkative people, then I'm gonna be talkative with them. But if it's a really nice, quiet people, then I'm gonna be quiet. Like either way I can go, it's, it's either or. You're you are out with friends when you when your best bud makes a 
snide remark that hits you right where it hurts. Ooh, well you make you hit us, <laughs> you you snit that remark right back. Okay, let's see. Barely flinch, flinch, and stay perfectly calm and silent as you give your friend a whatever kind of look. <clears throat> Try not to show how much the command has upset you, but you'll be a storm brewing inside for the rest of the night. No. Strung off the insult and quickly respond with an even yes. <laughs> yes. Hold on, water. <coughs> even if your remark doesn't didn't make any sense, just you gotta, well for me, I know I gotta say something back. Some, Cause my mind is quick with the comeback. So I know when to say something just like, then it gotta be something. So to all my boogies out there, you gotta say something back. Just, even if it, even if you're a doo-doo head, just say that if it's something. Just to get the pressure, you know, don't don't let that feeling linger because then you're gonna get mad the rest of the night. Exactly, you're gonna ruin out all, you're gonna mess up all the fun. So just take it, take it and just throw it right back at them. But of course, if they're just joking, then you don't have to, well, just joke right back. But if it's someone who's like a bully and they're trying to say something, oh, then I would go with the um, don't flinch one. It depends on the situation again. If it's like a bully that always just 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 an ass, then just ignore and keep walking. You don't got to say nothing to him. But if it's your friend and y'all are just roasting each other, then say something back. Anyway, okay. Friends are there through thick and thin, the good and the bad and the ugly. What is the best way for your pals to help when you have a problem oh this is a hard one too because i i'm very complicated with that because i want people to check on me but then i but then again i don't want the attention so it's okay let me read the options by not making a big deal of it there's there's probably a simple probably a simple practical solution to solve your problem and you'll find it okay i like that one by offering a simp a simp a simp a sympathetic shoulder Jesus, I could not think of that word to cry on, but still giving you space if you need it. It's hard to know which which you will need more. Yes, that is exactly it. That one, that one. Let me read it again. By offering a sympathetic shoulder to cry on, like I want, you know, I want the shoulder to cry on, but like, I'm not gonna force you. Like, I'm not gonna, like, don't make me go on your shoulder. Let me gradually go on the shoulder to cry on. Y'all know what I'm, like, this This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. But still giving your, still give me space. You know, I still need the space. But it's hard to know which one, you, like, you just gotta know. <laughs> this is exactly how I be feeling. This is exactly it. <laughs> like, just, just have the shoulder ready. That's all I'm gonna say. Just have it ready. If I go, if I go, if I do, then if I don't, I don't. That's it. That's all you're gonna know. Okay. If you can describe the way you approach a challenge in your life, it would be like, if you could describe the way you approach a challenge. Okay, let me let me see. Climbing a long, windy staircase, little by little, step by step, you'll get through it. Dealing with a spider, challenging, challenge, challenge is scary. Things can get hairy and you just want to go away or just avoid it in the first place. Being, a, being served a huge plate of your favorite food, you don't just love it, challenges, you crave it. Facing a bull in a pen, you confront the challenges with a fierce look in your eye. Okay. What do they mean by challenges in your life? Like like obstacles, like things that just... Okay, let's just say we're running in debt. So what am I going to do in that situation for me, for brother? We're running in debt. Money's getting low. That's the challenge we have to... And still have to pay the rent next month. So what are we going to do? Hmm. Well, I would want to avoid it in the first place. I would want to avoid me even getting into that situation. If I know I'm always almost to that situation, I don't want to get into it. But that's hard. Um, I don't crave a challenge. I mean, if it, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Uh, I mean, challenges come, so I don't want it to come away. Don't come, don't come, because challenges. When challenges come, that means blessings are right behind it. So I would feel like. Eh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess this one, just little by little, we'll get through it. Whew, we're almost there, y'all. You're engrossed in a tearjerker of a movie when the main character, after many trials and tribulations, gets his or her 
happy ending if you had a chance to meet this person in real life would you most likely say i'm glad you worked hard to get where you are today you just have to keep keep trying in life okay no it must have been so tough going through what you did it, i really feel t i really feel for you that's a good one i like the way you kept your cool but things always work out in the end just have to go with the flow i admire the fact that you faced everything head on if i had been there with you i would have been cheering you on the whole time okay so this is like if i met who's who has a happy ending if i met cinderella what would i say to cinderella i'm glad you worked so hard to get where you are today just keep trying a life okay when i give positive feedback or like word of advice i like to keep it short and sweet but it means so much you know it might have been tough going through what you did. I really, I, like, I would say something like this, but then I wouldn't say, I really feel you for that. I wouldn't say that at the end. I'd probably be like, so thank God you got through it or something. I would say something at the end like that. Um, I would say, but I would change it up just a tad bit. Okay. When socializing with friends, your character would be most best summarized as, <laughs> okay, let's see. If we were in a friend group, what would brother be cool you may not look like the most approachable person but it's just your outer shell you're a good listener okay i like cool that i can i can see that you're always willing to offer a sympathetic ear and some kind words of understanding okay 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 warm i i like warm too you seem to jump from one topic to another like a tornado no i mean i can get like that when i'm comfortable if we're comfortable in the suit i mean i can really be all these but it just depends on the friend group and how i play my part in the friend group you tell it to you tell it like it is so be it if you burn a few people along the way you just say how it is you're just being real i mean yes i can get like that if the friendship if our friendship is fiery you know if the friend group is fiery then of course but if it was okay if, if that was just me just knowing how I am, I would probably be, I would probably be, mm, I would probably be between warm and fiery, but not breezy, cause I don't jump from top to top. I would just say warm, considering the fact that I am an introvert. So it's, I mean, oh, oh or cool, because it, I am kind of hard to approach because I don't like social settings, so it might be a little hard. Yeah, cool. I'm cool at first, but when you get to know me, I'm fiery, warm, and all that. It's just, yeah, definitely the outer shell thing. Okay, <laughs> we're almost there. You've having one of those days, you were late for work, got stuck with a horrible client, and tripped on the way to your car. If a friend were to ask you how your day went, you would most likely say, horrible, leave me alone. With a sad puppy dog face, no. It was so strange. Here's what happened. And you go on describing every moment in the great detail. It was ex expli explicit, 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 whatever. It was, it was a mess. It was just one thing after another. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day. To be honest, I would probably say this one because I really don't like talking about my day. Not that I don't like talking about it. It's just like, like, eh, it's just okay. Just another day. I mean, if you really want to know, then I would tell you. But if you're just asking, like, you know how everyone says, oh, how's your day going? You know, you don't want to just start trauma dumping on. <laughs> you don't want to start trauma dumping on the cashier. You know, she was just trying to ring you up. She wasn't trying to hear all that. So I just be like, oh, it was great. Just a little minor errors. Then just go. OK, this is the last two. Then we finally will know which sign. Well, I know what sign, but what sign do y'all is the sign correct for me? Is my sign Scorpio? Am I actually a Scorpio? This is to be to be really recognized as a Scorpio. Okay. When you're out with a group of friends for the night on the town, what is the biggest pet peeve? Crowd. You just want to go in quiet, calm places where where everyone knows your name. And no, not really. Boy what does that say? Boisterous people? Whether you're in a movie or a club, you hate when people can't shut up or don't understand the concept of a personal space. 
Uh, I mean, I don't care. It, I mean, I don't care. Awkward silence. <laughs> okay, that sounds something along. Okay, what does it say? You feel like you need to pull people's teeth to get a sound out of them. No. No. M wait, when, let me read the question again. When you're out with a group of friends for the night, what is your big, oh, what's your biggest pet peeve? You want to be out doing something fun and exciting. Oh, crowds. Okay, what's the pet peeve? Crowds? Is it either crowds, people that can't shut up, awkward silence, or boredom? Um, I mean, I would say crowds, but I'm not, I'm not against crowded people, crowded areas, I meant, but I do have kind of some social anxiety. My anxiety goes up if I can't, if it's too crowded, but that's just a personal thing, but I don't mind the crowds. I wouldn't, but don't expect me to be talking and laughing and doing all that. I'm very to myself in some crowds because I just want to get in and get out especially in like in and out like those crowded areas you know something that's always crowded the mall i hate the mall don't want to be there just too much going on for me so pet peeves i mean that's not really a pet peeve i would just say either the pet peeve or either the personal space one because like back up or the boredom you feel like you have to pull people no i don't really don't care if people don't talk or not I really don't care. If you're there, then that's enough. I would say crowds only because I can't, I, everything else I really don't care about. You hate when people can't shut up. I love when people actually talk because that gets me to talk. So if anything, I really like, in ex, wait, what's the word? I like extroverted people because that can bring my extrovertedness out too because I'm an introvert. So I like when people talk, of course not getting my space, but I don't care if you talk my ear off. I'm a great listener, but let me just put crowds because that's the only thing I can think of. When it comes to your emotional side, you're the type of person who keeps it all inside. You're the strong and silent type sometimes. I mean, most of the time, yeah, but it's always, it's always on emotional roller coaster. You, re you really have to have a lots of ups and downs. Doesn't bother with all that touchy-feely stuff. You don't like it when emotions cloud your thoughts and judgment. Eh. is very in touch with your feelings and who tend to express themselves all in one burst so that others can get in touch with them too yes but that goes back to when i'm comfortable <laughs> like my only my family have really seen me cry and like get upset because i'm really comfortable i live with them so i'm gonna be comfortable but as far as my friends and stuff i always i'm always happy there's no reason to be upset so, I mean, if something, I don't know, I don't really, it, it's like a 50, I'm like stuck in the middle. I know you guys are saying emotional roller coaster, but if I'm comfortable with you, then, so I don't know, Lucy, I just don't know what, am I, am I ranking it from my introverted side or my extroverted side? Like, I, like there's two different people. There's two different people in my head right now. So I'm like kind of confused. I'm trying to. Well, the extroverted side is myself. Like, the extroverted side is me in... No. My introverted side is, like, me in public. But behind closed doors is my extroverted side. So it's like, which one do I do? I maybe should do the one in public because it's touching more people. So that's my introverted side. So I would actually be keeping it all in. Because, like, who wants to get emotional? I mean, if you're... Well, hmm. I mean, if you have good friends and they want to, well, I'm the type of, to get emotional with you, like, I'm not going to be the one going to you with my problems. You can come to me with your problems, but I don't think I will go to you. Okay. This is the moment of truth to know if I'm a real Scorpio. Drum roll, please. Oh, I got to do one more thing. Jesus Christ. Wait, why am I going to give you my date of birth? You're obviously going to know. Oh, okay. Here, there it is. Okay. Drum roll, please. Let me, it's going to scroll down. Then I'm going to see it. They say I am a Virgo. <laughs> they said I'm a Virgo. Okay. Element is earth quality. I mean, that's close. A Virgo's close. Isn't Virgo, what are Virgos? 
aren't they in November? Or no, isn't that? Oh, they're August to September. I act like a Virgo? Okay, well, quality mutable symbol, the maiden virgin. Jesus. <laughs> Defying traits, resilience, flexibility, introvertness. I told y'all, introvert. Consent, consent, consent. So Michael Jackson, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, wow. In their social world. Let's see. If y'all want to stick for this, I'm going to read it. Analytic madams make their mark in the zodiac as sharp as I, perfectionist Virgos, although not the most outgoing, can be witty conversationalists if they feel comfortable. Yes, but I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> they are more likely to keep them to themselves until they are more secure and familiar with peace with someone. Yes. However, they are committed friends once they get to know and like a person. I mean, even... Even though Virgos get a bad rap, that is actually a really good thing. Maybe I'm like a mixed Virgo. Maybe I'm a Virgo rising or something. See, it's social world and professional world. That's what I was talking about as far as my introvert and my extrovert lives. <sighs> okay, as long as all my stuff is making sense. Virgo's sharp and analytic skills and the de detail orientation makes them a shoe in for tasks that require precision and attention. They prefer routine and structure. They are carefully decision makers with their unparalleled level of organization. Virgo set high st standards for their work and also complete it on time. When a problem arises on the job, they will methodically search for a logical solution and follow through with impending in implanting it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, but the social world one was actually pretty accurate. I would say that was, that's me. That's me. Well, that is it. I mean, they say I'm a Virgo, so I guess I'm a Scorpio Virgo rising, whatever that rising thing means. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't want to speak for the Virgos, but I'm a part. I'm, but I'm Virgos. They're saying I'm a Virgo, so I'm a Virgo Vir, Virgo swat, slash Scorpio. Anyway, thank you guys if you made it this far, and I'll see you guys in the next one there's only one thing to do now and that is to drop that sick beat